Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to edit the sound levels within our Flash templates. Now, this isn't one of our standard settings, so what I'm going to show you is um, might be a little bit more advanced, and um, you know, we'll actually get into a little bit of the code and the actual workings of this template. I'm going to show you how to adjust the sound uh, volume for ActionScript 3 files and ActionScript 2. We'll start with ActionScript 3. First thing I'm going to do is go and double click into the game once it's opened up. You'll notice that up here on the stage it says I'm in the interaction movie clip now. And if you look at the timeline, it's all open now and all the keyframes and actions are in there. We're going to be focusing just on the first action keyframe here on the actions layer. And once you highlight that little A there, go ahead and open up your actions panel. If it's not open, just go up to window and actions. All right, what we're going to be looking for if you want to just actually click your little search icon or find icon here and you want to do a search for sound tran transform is what it is and then go and click find next and what it'll do is it'll actually go through the code and find the sounds transform function all right and once we're actually in here um, you'll see that there's there's two numbers here uh, for the transform, so there's a couple numbers here. These numbers are actually controlling the volume level. You'll notice that this is for the narration and this is for the normal game sounds. So if I just publish this right now, that audio that just played was a game sound and you could hear how, how strong that level was. That was 100% audio. What we can do is on the game sound, if I want to make that lower, one right here indicates that that's actually a hundred percent so if I change that to let's say 0 0.1 that should actually be indicating about a 10 percent audio so let's go ahead and test it all right if you could hear that it was noticeably um, lower so that's how you adjust the volume for the game sounds you do the exact same thing if you have narration sound that you added in um, you'd want to make those probably a match, so I'd put a 0.1 right there as well. If 0.1 is too low, you know, maybe experiment and try 0.3 for both of those and see how that works for you. All right, so that was the ActionScript 3 file. Let me show you how to do on ActionScript 2. Very similar, it's just the code's a tiny bit different. So we'll double click into the actual interaction movie clip. On the timeline, I'm going to click that little A right on the actions layer and then open up my actions panel. And on this particular file, the, the narration sound, you can actually just look right down on the code online, just right into the t late 20s into the 30s, you can actually see it says narration volume, game volume. So it's actually the code itself, you know, you should be able to actually read it and say like, oh yeah, that's the volume. So it should be fairly easy. And this uh, ActionScript 2 actually uses the actual 100% indication. So once again, if I just preview this at 100, you can hear how strong that volume is. And let's just go ahead and just change that. We'll go to the game sound. Let's make that 40%. And it's quite a bit lower and just so we have a drastic change let's take it down to 10 and that's how you control the the audio levels here and once again you'd probably want to do it for both of these because if you have narration you want that to also match um, your game sound um, hopefully that helps you understand how to control the sound and volume levels within our, our uh, flash templates